Yeah, you know I had to hit the fresh cut on y'all once again. All right, it's straight to business. Now that I'm working, man, that feel good to say. I have actually learned how both customers and employees can piss you off. First off, let's start with the customers. Number one, if I speak to you or attempt to make conversation, it would be nice if you either responded or at least had a decency to say something. It didn't have to be a whole speech, but it had to be something you could have said. You could have said, how are you today? I'm fine. And you? Something, my nigga. Instead of just leaving me out in the clouds, just like... Cool. Next are the people that just try to blame the store for the product they bought. Like, okay, first of all, what you needed to know is that when you bought the product, you do know we just sold it to you. We didn't actually make the damn product, right? Now, don't get mad at us for the shit that you bought that did not work or did not go well. Take it up with the niggas that made the damn product, all right? Next is how some people just have the nerve to come to you with all this stuff and knowing they don't got all the money to pay for it. And I'm just like, nigga. First off, budget your money before you go into a store. So that way you know how much to buy and know if you have enough. And every time, every time the job always say these two things. The customer is always right. And the customer pays our paycheck. Bish where? Last time I checked, I worked for your ass. I did not work for them damn people. I'm talking about the customers pay our damn check. They're about to pay a damn trip to the hospital if they keep messing with me sometime, damn it. And then there's the customers that try to swindle niggas into thinking that this is supposed to be a certain price. When really, nigga, we know it's not. We know it's not. Just, just, just take the damn product and get, and get out of my face before I actually slap you. Now hold up, employees. Don't think you getting off the hook too, nigga. Y'all got some damn issues too. Now, if I walk in now, I expect to be helped by an employee. I do not expect to wait for the past 20 minutes just for someone to serve my ass. And secondly, employees, know what the hell you doing because I do not want to come to you and you just a beginner on this and you're going to ring me up for the wrong shit. Mm, I thought I'd do that sometime myself. I mean, I ain't saying that I'm in the wrong for it. Mm. And lastly, for the employees, bring your asses to the line so that way we can get this damn store faster. Oh, it's having like two days on register open at a 19 in there. About want to slap every damn employee in there right now. And of course, it's supposed to be nice to the customers because it's the season of giving. Be rude to me one more time, I'm going to give my foot to your ass. That's going to be a nice gift for you. But I have to be happy and jolly about it. Anyway, y'all know I had to go put my two cents in there. Y'all know it's been a while since I've been up here. So I had to go spread my little Christmas laugh to y'all. Y'all know what to do. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. Hit me up on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all that good stuff. Snapchat, anything you want to. Don't forget to share this video with your friends. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Do not forget to hit that like button either. And sorry if my hand was in the way throughout the whole video if I was talking or whatever. But, you know, I have a, I have a big ass hand, so. ABC, out.